this time, let's try and convert some of our cell data into a Google map. There might be many different instances, whether you are a university that's trying to figure out exactly where are our students located based on zip code. If you're a company trying to figure out where your customers are, how you're managing your regions, if you're looking at um, services, you might want to know where services are being consumed. So there is oftentimes a need for converting um, an Excel location-based spreadsheet into a Google map. And this is what we'll try right now. So as we've been talking about the fact that we've got two different word sheets in the spreadsheet, one of them is, of course, the character of a grape, and we've got all these different grapes with all their different characteristics. And, of course, we also have the wine, major wine regions of the world. Now, of course, I'm not including every possible region, but sort of the general regions so that we get a good sense of which region is famous for what kind of grape. So, in this case, it says the Barossa Valley in Australia, the primary grape out there is Saran which is a big and spicy with a cherry flavouring and one of the vintners is Hill of Grace out there and so on and so forth. So let's try and convert that into a Google map. So we make sure you've saved your file and you can see it says World Wines 0830. Now what we'll do is we'll open Google Maps and right out there what we will do is we will go to maps.google.com and once we are there, just make sure that you click on something that says your places. The minute you click on your places, you'll see to the, the top right corner says maps. So we click on maps. And let's say we want to create a map. So let's say create map. It says what's the name of the map? Let's call it World Red Wines or Red Wine Regions and Grapes. And we'll just copy and paste because it's quite expensive in the description too. Um, let's call it a map of world red wine regions and grapes. Oh, sorry, and, and let's call it a map. All right, now let's say save. Then what Google does is says, what do you want to import? Then we'll say, all right, let's see what we can import. And I'm going to try and import the world wines data directly. Now what you'll find is Google automatically searches through every possible column and puts that, those as markers. And Google's asking, or Google Maps is asking, choose columns to position your place mark. Now remember, this is key. The place mark has to be based on a location, a zip code, an address, uh, an area, a city, a town, whatever it is, but it has to be latitudes and longitudes. So you could say region. So we're saying the region is the main place marking piece on the map. Then we say continue. Now what would you like to title it as? So we basically want to look at regions and grapes so that we can typically look at a region and say, hmm, interesting. That's in that region, I want to try this particular grape. So when you're at a wine store or at a restaurant, you could easily say, that, hmm, I know, I can see something from, I don't know, Campania, and I might want to order um, an Aglianuca del Vultore, right? Or I want to order a Sangiovese-based wine from Tuscany. And then you click on finish. Google's processing it, and it's built it the entire map out for you. It's converted your Excel, entire Excel spreadsheet into a map. And let's see how this works. First, let's go into preview mode so that we actually get a sense of how it's working. 
So just miss this. And let's first look at all these different graves that we have. Okay, we can play it on in many different ways. First, we might want to know, ah, oh, it's interesting. What's this in South Africa? And we click on that, and it tells you if you're ordering wine from South Africa, especially from the Stellenbosch area, a Pinotage is a nice wine, is a deep and earthy taste with a bit of a banana flavor. It has a body of eight, and one of the vintners is La Bonne. And similarly, we can go back and say, all right, interesting. I would like to see what kinds of wine I might find in, let's say, um, central, north central uh, France. So let's click out there. And it says this is the Loire Valley. And a good, a famous grape out there is a Cabernet Franc. Or it's a very famous red grape out there is a Cabernet Franc. It's typically bold and bitter tasting with a bit earthy taste of olives and plums. Uh, Chinot and Bougra are the famous ones of the body of eight verses. Out in Burgundy, it's the Pinot Noir, which is a medium body, low tannin, but, you know, is, is a sort of a strong wine in general. I don't think the body actually is 10. I need to figure that out. I think it's a slightly mis missed bit of calculation. But um, you could just go around and take a look at that. So Beaujolais, famous for the Gamay. If you look at Crease, it says that this is Nemeum. And Zeno Marlboro is very good out there with a body of seven. Similarly, you can go back and you can now say, hmm, I'd like to try a Merlot. Where can I get it? And it says a good place for a Merlot is the Pomerol part of Bordeaux. And so you can choose between the left bank or the right bank for Cabernets or Merlots, and it will give you a good sense. So similarly, you might say, interesting, I think I would like to try a Corvina. Where could I find a Corvina? And it says, oh, that's from the Veneto region of Italy. That's the Venice region of Italy. That's where the Corvina is basically based out of, and you typically find them as Valpolicellas. And that helps you. So go, once we go back to it, and we go back to the world map, you see all these wine regions, all the major wine regions around the world, from Napa Valley uh, to Washington, um, uh, to Chile and uh, Argentina, to Australia, to South Africa, to Western Europe and Southern Europe. Um, you get a good sense of mapping out your location based data. Thank you.